What brand of shock absorber should I use in my Mercedes? I get a lot of questions about shock absorbers and shock absorber people genuinely fall into shock absorber questions generally fall into three camps. The first one is, can I get away with using a cheap shock absorber on my Mercedes? The second one is, is a Bilstein shock okay to use on my Mercedes? Or are there any other brands that are any good? And then number three, should I use a genuine Mercedes part? Uh, in my shock absorber system. So we're going to talk about those three questions and answer them uh, in order. So the first question I get is um, this question about a lot of like what other show, you know, can I, can, can I use a cheap shock in my Mercedes like a Gabriel or a Monroe or a KYB? KYB is the one that comes under the most fire because they make shocks for Mercedes that fit Mercedes, but their shocks are just not that good. And why are they not that good? Well, you can see the cheapness in a KYB shock absorber. First of all, their column, their shock column, is thinner than that of a Bilstein shock. And this also goes to their struts too. Instead of taking a large 17 millimeter nut with a 10 millimeter thread, they take like a 9 millimeter thread and a 14 millimeter nut, a chintzy little washer, a thin little bushing. They don't use a double lock nut. They don't use a nylon locking nut. The rubber bushing quality in the bottom mount of the shock absorber is not as good. And they ride like crap. I've never driven a car with Bilsteins that rides right, I mean, without Bilsteins, like with KYBs or Monroes or Gabriels that. that Rides okay. I remember I had a customer who had a 280SE and he swore by these cheap Monroe shock absorbers he had. But when I'd go over a train track, the rear end of the car would bounce like crazy. That's They ride like crap. KYB shock absorbers are so... Uh, I mean, they, they would bounce all over the train tracks when going over a bump. And it was just horrible. It was like somebody was playing drums in the trunk. And um, I was like, what's going on? What's causing this problem? Blown out Monroe shock absorbers. Yep. So Monroe, Gabriel, Rancho, all those brands, don't get those shocks. I don't even think those companies make shocks for Mercedes anymore. The thing that's a real peeve to me is why garages, reputable garages, even install stuff like that. If you're running a shop and you're even installing that crap, you know, go go hang up your wrenches and go go work at McDonald's or something. You know, you can't put those. And if you have some kind of argument for why Gabriel or Monroe shocks are better, your argument is crap. You don't really have an argument. You just think you know more and you have an inflated ego. Um, anyway, all right. So let's go to the Bilstein question. Are Bilsteins the best shocks for my Mercedes or are there other brands that I can use? Thomas, can you hand me that Bilstein box on the on the swivel chair there? There, there are two right there, yep. Thank you. This is a Bilstein shock absorber. It hasn't even been opened yet. And um, I, I actually like Bilsteins. You know, I know some people have complaints about them. Like, they're like, oh, they ride too firm. Oh, they don't, they don't quite feel like genuine Mercedes shock absorbers. But the truth is that Bilstein does make great shocks and you can save quite a bit of money and get a decent ride and excellent longevity. I mean, these are, these are 20 plus year shocks, you know, 30 year shocks, depending on where you live. These are great, wonderful parts that are priced right. And I think that, you know, what, what is this? Like 20 bucks more than a KYB shock absorber. I know it adds up to $80, but if you can't afford an extra 80 bucks, you shouldn't be driving a Mercedes. You know, go to the Hyundai dealership. They'll sell you a car for $99 a month. Work on your credit. Um, the, the truth is that, that Bilstein shocks and struts are perfectly adequate, but there's one other brand. 
And I know what you're going to say. Oh, it's Coney. But no, it's not Coney. It is Sox Bogey. And Sox, I think, makes a shock that is just as good, feels just as nice, handles just as well, lasts just as long as a Bilstein shock. Now, I've heard some complaints of the, of, of Sox shock absorbers pre prematurely wearing out in areas where the roads are really bad. But in general, we have not had a lot of issues with Sox units. And a lot of Mercedes were supplied with Sox as OEMs, original equipment. You know, like if you have a 1979 300D or CD or TD, the front shocks on that car were Sox. The back shocks, especially in the 300 TD, were Sox bogey equipment, B-O-G-E. Um, if you have a 124, a 201, and you need to save a little bit of money, which is fine, you still want a high quality strut, you can get a Sox bogey strut and you will likely save a few bucks. And one other thing I've been told is that the ride quality of Sox products is closer to what Mercedes designed. Now, for the rest of us, there's one more piece to this puzzle. Genuine Mercedes. Not the same as what's in this box. That's right. Mercedes has shock absorbers manufactured to their own specifications for cars like the 113 or 108 or 111 or 124 series cars. You know, you're not going to get a Bilstein box. You're going to get a shock or a strut with a unique damping rate that is exactly that of the factory that matches that of the factory requirements. Now, these are close. You know, the, the difference is hardly perceptible, but there are some diehards out there who believe that the car deserves that. And there's also a category of car where I think these things are merited. Like if you have a 6.3 or if you have a 300 SEL of any variety, the rear Mercedes shocks for the back axle are perfect. They are perfect. They're supreme. They're better than anything else. If you have a 111 cab, same thing. The car is so heavy. The Mercedes shocks tend to give the best ride. Um, not that the Bilsteins are bad, but I'm talking about good versus perfect. Anyway, if you have any questions about shocks, struts, ride quality, suspension for your Mercedes, drop us a line. We're here to help you. In the meantime, please tap the bell for notifications. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave your comments below. And um, if you haven't subbed to our channel yet, please do so. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Enjoy making your Mercedes-Benz perfect.